Welcome to the Peaks Label Free Quantification Tutorial. In this session, we will go over the features and benefits of the software for label free quantification and demonstrate how to perform data analysis. The Peaks Label Free Quantification algorithm is intensity based. As this diagram shows, the survey scans use peptide feature for quantification. MS2 scans are used for peptide protein identification. Combining them produces peptide and protein quantification results. Let's get more into detail for each step. In shotgun proteomics, proteins are digested in a complex mixture of peptides which are separated by online HPLC. At a given retention time, the fractions of the mixture eluded from the column are set to a mass spec instrument and their precursor masses and intensities are recorded in a survey scan. This is the MS1 spectrum. This figure shows a heat map of the mass spec signals generated by peptides eluding from the column. The map depicts all peptide features detected by the instrument with the complexity of elution and isotope patterns. The intensity of a peptide feature is proportional to the abundance and concentration of the peptide in the sample. The abundance ratio of a peptide between two samples can be estimated by the intensity ratio of the peptide feature in two heat maps. There are several steps to determine the relative abundance of a peptide and protein by label-free quantification. The first step is feature detection. A peptide feature is defined as a group of peaks in a heat map characterized by eluding patterns in terms of retention time and isotope patterns in terms of mass charge. The deconvolution of overlap peptide features and retention alignment between runs are the key factor for data analysis, for the overlap peptide feature clusters cannot be avoided even with today's high resolution instruments and LC separation techniques. Peak's label-free quantification successfully deconvolutes overlap peptide features by using an expectation maximization algorithm. The second step is retention time alignment and feature matching. The retention time of a peptide feature in two LCMS runs may change subject to the LC column conditions and so forth. To match the same peptide feature in different runs, retention time alignment is required. Here are two LCMS runs. You can see where the retention time changed. After the alignment, the peptide features are matched. Next step is ratio calculation. The relative abundance ratio is calculated by the area of the extracted ion chromatogram in two run. In each scan, intensities of isotopic peaks are summed when the XIC is generated. Here are two XICs of a peptide feature. The one in red is from run 1, and the blue one is from run 2. The abundance ratio can be estimated by the ratio of the areas of the two XICs. Next we make the significance assessment. Technical replicates are used to evaluate the variation of a feature between run. A quality value is associated with a feature in terms of its intensity, isotope, and eluding patterns. The feature quality is defined as 1 log sigma, where sigma is the average variation, Given the observation of a feature variation in two biological states, a significance value is calculated, which is defined as minus 10 log p, where p is the p-value to observe such variation in the replicate runs. The last step is peptide feature identification. This is done using the MSMS spectra associated with the feature. Peaks label-free quantification is seamlessly integrated with Peaks database search for peptide identification, thus data analysis of label-free quantification is much easier than switching software or exporting from one format to another. Let's jump into the point of it all. How well does Peaks label-free quantification perform? Here is the result from a controlled data set. The data set is from an Orbitrap instrument. Samples B, C, and D were spiked with yeast mixture of 48 UPS1 proteins. Each sample is threefold higher than the last one. The samples were performed by mass spectrometry in replicate. We use peak label free quantification to analyze the data set. Here is the result report. Of the top 48 quantified proteins with fold change greater than 2, 45 proteins are UPS1 proteins. The first yeast protein appears ranked at 42. This result shows high sensitivity and high accuracy of peaks label-free quantification. Here is another case from a real proteomics project. The purpose of this project is to find molecular biomarkers to assist with monitoring spinal muscular atrophy disease progression and establishing the effectiveness of therapies being tested 
Label-free quantification is used to identify individual proteins in pathologically affected skeletal muscle from spinal muscular atrophy mice that report directly on the disease status. Two mouse samples were prepared, wild type and severe. The data was analyzed using Peak's label-free quantification. Label-free proteomic analysis reveals a list of more than 40 putative biomarkers of disease status in skeletal muscle from severe spinal muscular atrophy mice.